Harvey Weinstein's former assistant at Miramax is breaking her non-disclosure agreement and revealing his alleged sexual harassment. Zelda Perkins told the Financial Times that Weinstein requested a massage while in his underwear. She also claims that he asked her to be in the room while he took a bath and often tried to pull her into bed when she woke him up. Perkins and a colleague split a settlement with Miramax of about $425,000 and signed a non-disclosure agreement back in 1998. Miramax is not commenting and says that the current owners were not involved in the company at that time. Harvey Weinstein has denied all allegations of non-consexual sex. CBS News legal analyst Ricky Kleeman joins us at the table to discuss. Hello, Ricky. Let's talk about Zelda Perkins breaking the non-disclosure agreement. What does that mean and who does that hurt now? We have to look at the fact that there are two types of non-disclosure agreements and if either of them are broken, there's a possibility of damages. Um, we all basically sign a non-disclosure agreement in a company that says that if we leave a company that we are not going to disparage that company, we're not going to give away trade secrets, we're not going to say bad things. We'll put that to one side. Now let's look at the sexual harassment, sexual abuse, possibly even sexual assault, non-disclosure agreements. So what happens in those is two people, the perpetrator and the victim, agree to a contract. And what they say is the woman, we'll use woman for the sake of conversation, the woman gets the money, but she must remain quiet. She must never say anything. And the company may or may not have to disclose that agreement. And the perpetrator or the company pays the money. Now, what happens to Zelda Perkins? If you violate a confidentiality agreement, you've broken a contract. So you might have to pay the money back. And there might be clauses where you have to pay damages. Okay, lots of people sign non-disclosure agreements. If you sign a non-disclosure agreement and you are sexually harassed or assaulted, what are your rights? You do have rights. We don't think that in any way a, non, uh, a confidentiality agreement, also known as a non-disclosure agreement, totally silences you because of the court system. Perfect example, Bill Cosby and Andrea Constant. Andrea Constant, who was the victim who uh, uh, testified against Bill Cosby in the criminal trial, she kept her confidentiality agreement, never said a word to anyone once it was signed. But once a judge ordered her to testify, of course she can testify. You also don't have to say, if I sign a confidentiality agreement, if I've gone to the police first, mm -hmm. you're protected going to the police first or the Equal Opportunity Employment Commission first. There comes a point where you can also talk about the cause. You just can't talk about your case. But many people feel these NDAs have been used to cover up a crime, right. you know, to keep it silent. Well, there you cannot be paid to cover up a crime. So these become very touchy negotiations if it's sexual assault. You cannot be a lawyer and advise someone that take the money and don't go forward and prosecute. That's a crime. But in the case with Bill O'Reilly and Liz Wheel, the New York Times has reported that, that it was because he allegedly sent gay porn to her and that there was a non-consensual sexual relationship. Isn't that a crime? It may or may not be a crime. The thing is that this is a private agreement between Lise Wheel and Bill O'Reilly that we're given reason to believe happened. And, and that- in your experience, $32 million, is that an unusually large sum? Unusual takes my breath away. Absolutely takes my breath away. And would suggest what? That she had some sort of evidence or something that was really Yes, of course. Or? And in it fact, is. we know that they are supposed to, as part of that confidentiality agreement, you know, the question is destroy. What, might he, what destroy. might he have feared to give up $32 million? Well, you must have feared something. But all physical evidence is supposed to be destroyed. That's documents, voicemails, texts, anything that they might have had. Thank you. All right. Ricky Thank Clement, you. thank you so much.